Hey everybody, hello and good morning greetings from West Memphis, Tennessee. All right, once again today it is Mar uh, April. I don't know why I keep saying April, March. April's second Tuesday, 2018. Local time here is uh, 9.27. We are currently traveling on Interstate 40. We're about to cross into the beautiful state of Tennessee. We are uh, 982 miles. To Pottsville, Pennsylvania. We are loaded with 32,000 pounds of frozen minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit uh, chicken nuggets Entering the beautiful state of Tennessee, the volunteer state. Welcome to Tennessee, everybody. It is windy, 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 and very, very humid. Look at that uh, brass pro shop. There's a guy over there cleaning the windows. Man, he looks like an ant. <laughs> very, very small. Just to show how big that thing is. So, uh, I haven't personally seen it. I have just seen the clips of Roseanne Barr's 
reboot uh, TV show, Roseanne. And from what I have seen, it's kind of funny, you know, it's kind of criticizing the, the left, the right, open the dialogue, family, they're making fun of Trump, Hillary, they're making fun of everybody. And in a way, it's, uh, I think it's uh, the way it should be. I, I think I certainly feel that way in my family. I mean, you know, there was a point where in my family there were, uh, they were leaning towards the left. Um, but there was a point where our family is beginning to shake and I said you know what let's vote for our family not not politicians and not that we changed our uh, political views or points but like for example my wife um, this is how this is how great my wife is she um, she did not like to vote for Donald Trump but because of me she she did she saw how important it was for me to vote one way and so she voted me does that make sense So anyway, back to Rose on uh, TV show. I, what are the chances that, uh, you know, I don't think, I don't think that uh, that Roseanne TV show or any show on TV is going to be centered or right I, I, every show out there I mean is gonna be leaning towards the left look at look at Tim Allen's uh, TV show last man standing it was a very conservative TV show and in spite of the excellent ratings they canceled it and I think I think all these networks out there in Hollywood are beginning to sacrifice their wallet to become activists. I, I think they're to the point now where, you know, what used to be, I remember forget what Will Smith says. Will says it doesn't matter, in Hollywood, it doesn't matter what color you're at your what color is your skin the only color that they know is green that's that's a green dollar and for the most part that was true but I think in my opinion Hollywood now and all these TV shows they're beginning to sacrifice the green for ideology and, and political stands so the point, what I'm trying to say is, I think when it comes to Roseanne uh, Bar, a Roseanne show, what are the chances that the first episode, or you know, there be maybe one season that they're going to stay in the middle, criticize everybody, just to open the door suck everybody in and then at some point or another they're gonna be helpless and be leaning towards the right or the left I think they're gonna try to do a you know cook the frog very slowly and they're gonna turn up the heat without people knowing it.
So do you, how long do you think if it's if it is so? How long do you think that uh, the TV show will actually, you know, go full blown left? I hope it. I hope it will live up to its reputation or what they say that they they're all about their marketing is that they want to bring people back they want to bring the country back and they want to bring the family back together to talk again have a conversation again and that seems to be what they're marketing is for now I, I really hope they will stay that way equally criticizing the left the right and just be a TV show be in the middle but I seriously doubt it By the way, I want to give you guys a little bit of an update. Uh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Sometime maybe today, a dear friend of mine is going to buy uh, me and Jackie our airfare to the Philippines. And it's set and it's settled. Jackie is going with me to the Philippines this August and for the reason the reason for that is that uh, Jackie m mom and I want Jackie to go and uh, stay home kind of explore uh, First of all, I'm sure not many of you out there know this, is that Jackie has, Jackie left the Philippines when she was maybe two, three years old. So she doesn't remember anything about the Philippines, even though she was born there. So anyway, Mama and I thought that uh, Well, and I thought about bring her back home, explore uh, colleges over there, because the fact is, college around here just there's no way that I could ever afford it. And so we thought that. Uh, we could send Jackie to college in the Philippines because it's a lot, lot cheaper over there. I bet you the college in the Philippines is probably less than a thousand dollars a year in tuition. I mean, that's crazy, right? And basically, she wants to. She wants to discover what she left, and 
So that's a done deal. Uh, sometime today, I, my uh, a good friend of mine is going to book our ticket. We'll be leaving somewhere about August 9, August 8, 10, doesn't really... It doesn't have to have an exact date, whatever cheapest airfare there is available. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna stay in Hong Kong for about two days maybe one and a half I don't know one just to visit my nephew Andy and uh, meet my meet his daughter that would be our first oh boy I don't know grand niece and niece granddaughter <laughs> I really don't know what to call her Andy's my nephew his nephew of his daughter would be my, what, my great niece? But in the Philippines, we call the, you know, we, we would call her uh, granddaughter. So I thought I'd let you guys know. The temperature here is uh, 73 degrees. Humidity is about a thousand percent. It's really, really humid out here right now. Uh, 70. Cordova. My wife tells me that uh, they were laying salt and brine um, on the highways in Sheboygan yesterday. I guess they're gearing up for some snow. Right now I have uh, 5 hours and 42 minutes remaining to drive before I need to do a 30 minute break.
I think I only had uh, 10 hours and 40 minutes available today. I'm hoping I can make it as far as, uh, I don't know, Virginia maybe. Yeah, well, it's 191 from here to Knoxville. No, wait, that's Nashville. Yeah, well, speaking of Nashville, we're definitely going to take the... Uh, we're going to take the bypass again. Kind of like that bypass, it's quiet. But then again, for, I don't know, I really like what, I really want to show you guys what Nashville looks like, so there's that, you know. It depends on the time of the day and what the traffic is, I'll consider it, I suppose. Alright, well, as always, thank you so very much for watching, John of you, dear. Have a good and godly day, everybody. There are some beautiful words to live by right there. Peace.